So the Florida Solar Energy Center has this system installation and we've been going over this. This portion is going to cover some things that don't directly affect us on our installation, but if you go to a work site this will not be an uncommon connection point. What we have here is an electric hot water heater. This is what we call the domestic hot water. And uh, what we are going to do is set up our system. We're going to take that hot water that the solar collectors have done and we're going to pipe that into this system here to store that hot water for future use. There's many ways of doing this, such as a storage tank, a heat exchanger within the tank to cause this. The point that we're going to make, and you're going to see this kind of a segmented video here, is that we are going to install many points, inlets and outlets, into our system to correctly allow us to move the solar thermal fluid. As a quick overview, whenever we come in contact with domestic water, we have to have two lines of defense. So many times when you do a solar thermal install, you will see that the heat exchanger is double walled, or you will use a storage tank in a, another part of the building and pipe that water from that storage tank into this domestic hot water tank. For example, our Stiebel L-Tran system that we're going to install is already a double walled installation because there's a coil of pipe that runs from this pump to the solar collectors and back into it. There is a hundred odd gallon storage tank and then there is another coil that extracts that hot water with domestic hot water. The glycol system and the domestic hot water system never touch one another and we'll see pictures of that here through the storage tank facility in operation but what you need to take away from here is we a double wall insulation double protection then we need to make sure that we have shutoffs coming to and from that service so we can separate both the solar thermal and this domestic hot water tank. The other thing is sometimes it may actually be in your best interest to remove and replace this older domestic hot water tank with a new efficient one even though it's not going to be used as much. And the reason for it is with the higher R value of insulation on the newer tank you might be able to conserve that heat that's already in that domestic hot water tank for a longer rate of time. And so what we're going to do here is you can see that there's a thermostat that's built into us. What we're going to do is continue this video by looking at other examples examples and then exploring the Stiebel L-Trans storage tank and talking about these different types of storage tanks and systems that are out there. So we're going to go to the next part now.